हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन स्विच गेयर एंड प्रोटेक्शन टूडेज टॉपिक इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ इम्पिडेंस रिले एंड वी हैव टू यूज दीज टाइप्स ऑफ रिले फॉर पर्टिकुलर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो वी नो दैट द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन आर कैटेगराइज एज शॉर्ट ट्रांसमिशन लाइन मीडियम ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड लार्ज ट्रांसमिशन लाइन और यू कैन सी लॉन्ग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द किलोमीटर रेंज दीज आर डिवाइडेड ऑल्सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द लाइन वोल्टेज दीज आर कैटेगराइज सो लेस देन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर वी आर प्रेफरिंग द शॉर्ट ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सिक्सटी टू वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर वी आर प्रेफरिंग द मीडियम ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड ग्रेटर देन वन सिक्सटी किलोमीटर वी आर प्रेफरिंग द लॉन्ग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सेम वे वोल्टेज लेस देन ट्वेंटी किलो वोल्ट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ शॉर्ट ट्रांसमिशन लाइन Line voltage 20 to 100 kilo volt can be considered as a medium transmission line, and value of voltage greater than 100 kilo volt considered as a long transmission line. And these are the type of distance relays we are using for particular transmission line. So reactance relay is used for short transmission line. Impedance relay is used for medium transmission line, and more relay is used for long transmission line you can remember in such a fashion that these short medium long are uses the these red letters as rim so this rim is my technique to remember easily the transmission relays trans uh, distance relays for particular transmission line so you just you remember the word rim so rim stands for r stands for reactance i stands for impedance and m stands for mo we are interested to differentiate between these relays depending on the parameters different parameters so the first parameter is the directional element or it can be a non directional element we have seen the non directional relays also and we have seen directional relays also so you have to consider that reactance and impedance relay are non directional relays only the mo relay is a directional so it means that only in one direction whenever there is a fault this relay is going to perform its operation so this is again the simple difference between these three relays if you are not seen the directional relay concept so just click on this icon so you will get the information related to the directional element now the important point is effect of arc resistance results into the underreach so you have to consider that due to the arc resistance whenever the arc resistance is added depending on the fault these relays are get affected so only the reactance relay is not get affected other relays impedance and more relays are affected among these two the more relay are more at affected results into underreach and whenever the relays are affected due to the arc resistance it performs the underreach so impedance relay are also affected at less than more relay and it goes into the underreach the next point is the fault takes place in a particular transmission line the ground faults or earth faults can be takes place inside the short transmission line the phase faults are considered for a medium transmission line and medium faults and the load shedding or power sink transients are takes place for the long transmission line now the effect of power swing the power swing is nothing but it is a effect of fault whenever there is a fault it results into the some power swing so power carrying capacity is a very less in case of short transmission line so there are less power swings are observed in the medium transmission line normally there are some less amount of power swing as compared to the long transmission line in the long transmission line the power carrying capacity is very high so there are more power swings are going to observe 
now the effect of power swing whenever the power swing takes place for particular transmission line then it affects the performance of the relay also so it is opposite exactly opposite for it is exactly opposite by the effect of arc resistance so it means that the arc resistance is not affected by the reactance relay but it is most affected by the power swings and it operates or it makes the operation mal operation so the impedance relays are moderately affected and results into the mal operation and the more relays are less affected and results in the mal operation so you can easily remember that this is increasing order and this is decreasing order so these are exactly opposite for the type of relay and the area occupied on the rx plane we have seen the rx plane is a very important whenever we are interested to draw the characteristic of particular relay so the area covered by the reactance relay is a very large the area covered by the impedance relay is a moderate which is a circle and the area covered by the mo relay is a smallest so due to this these power swings are less affected as the area is very large so this is more affected so this is again the relation between area and effect of power swing i hope you understood the application of different types of relays depending on the different consideration of the transmission line thank you god bless you all